I don't remember too much except standing in that crowd right on the corner, Central and Perth, where the Nishihonganji Temple is. That is where we were waiting for the bus to take us down to the train station. Uh, that's about all I remember. So the exhibit is called Be Here in 1942, A New Lens on the Japanese American Incarceration. This production uh, was based on the volumetric capture technology. I think it's going to be different for every person. I've never seen an exhibit that affected me so much like this one. My name is June Aochi Burke. I'll be 90 this year. I was uh, nine and a half uh, when we were evacuated and we had to uh, leave our homes. The topic uh, we focused on is about the moment uh, people are waiting for the bus or the train which went to the camps. This right here is where real people 80 years ago were standing getting ready to step on a bus and leave everything. There are these two augmented reality installations. You walk around in this space that is filled with images of Japanese Americans waiting to get on buses. The NI Initiative is a collaborative project, UCLA and Wasabi University in Tokyo. This is the biggest project that the NI Initiative has ever undertaken. There's one picture of me holding a doll. I've seen a lot of pictures of that doll. All of these photographs were shot by the professional cameraman. They were commanded from the American government at that moment. Even within that situation, the cameraman came in, following with maybe five or six Caucasian, surrounded by you when you were five years old. That's the kind of fact I found when I close up the eyes. There is a silhouette of the people reflected. It's like seeing the whole evacuation from different eyes. You walk around in this space that is filled with images of Japanese Americans and you really feel a kind of connection to history that, at least for me, I've never, I've never experienced that before. If you are moved with the story, your brain starts to energize and memorize more solid way. So that's an artist's job. So this kind of use of, of this emerging technology of volumetric capture is also unprecedented. In all kinds of ways, this is a pretty amazing uh, technological feat and it's still kind of stunning to me that we managed to pull it off. I did feel like we weren't equal. I think it's important to record these stories so that it will, will not happen again. Hate is taught. We have to stop this one generation teaching the other generation to hate. At my age, as long as I can still talk, <laughs> and as long as I can still remember, I feel that it's, it's my duty to tell the story as I know it. And uh, hopefully it will educate some people. I hope so.